Hey friends, Johan here. Uh, I'm home from the uh, from Danielle and Mimi doing their virtual LPHM, and I was on bike support with them. Uh, my ride to and from the park, along with the Abe's course, got me right about 16 miles, and my blood sugar when I finished was 145. So I'm happy with that. Now I got to make sure I don't crash before dinner, which is in the oven. Mmm, chicken. Um, but I had a really good ride today. I'm feeling good. Um, I didn't get any alarms, so that's a good thing. My legs are probably going to be a little pissed tomorrow, but it was a good day. So baby steps ever forward Johan out hi friends Johan here Wednesday April 7th Christy's birthday happy birthday Christy uh, came out to the SHG track with Danielle to get a little bit of miles in and a little bit of miles is exactly what I got Sugar started out decent, no low 130s, and I got a little bit more than a half, mile and a half in here, and it tanked on me, so I had to stop. It pissed me off because I felt good. Diane's or Diane, Danielle's over there doing whatever it is fasties do. Uh, she's finishing up here. But uh, I had to stop. Fucking diabetes. I'm going to figure this shit out. You watch. I'm going to figure this shit out. I'm going to come back and I'm going to be able to run again. Like a normal human being. Probably still slow. But I'm going to run again. I'm going to figure this shit out. And I'm, I'm going to watch me, bitches. Just kidding. But I will figure this out, and I'll be back. Because I'm tired of not running, not being able to run. I'll figure it out. i got about another month before I get into the endocrinologist. Uh, and I have another procedure in St. Louis the following day. I'm going to get there. That's all there is to it. I'm going to get there. And you can't tell me I won't. Bitch! So. But anyway, uh, she's finishing up. And then uh, we're going to go home because it's about to storm here any second. Uh, I just wanted to check in, say hi, say that today was a colossal fail. Even though I got out, that's that's a positive thing, but blood sugar-wise was a colossal fail. So, but I'll get there. I will. I'll get there. Johan out. Hey friends, Johan here. Just thought I'd uh, take a few minutes and hop on and... Just update you a little. Um, not really much is going on. Yesterday, we went over to my dad's, my parents' house to celebrate his birthday, which is tomorrow. We had a cookout. No, no big deal. We just made some chicken legs on the grill. And it was really nice getting together with everybody that we haven't seen some of them in over a year. Um, the only people that weren't there were my brother's kids and my oldest and his girlfriend. They were still at school, um, but I think everybody else was there. 
everybody else was there. It was it was really nice getting to visit and talk and do our standard making fun of each other and all that sort of thing. Today I've just kind of been uh, I've been doing some things around the house. Uh, last load of laundry is in the washer. I swept, um, vacuumed, changed the sheets on our bed. But I'm just kind of just blah. tomorrow, tomorrow morning, nine oh five. I have a doctor's appointment with Dawn's PA, who I'm really hoping is going to wind up my new PCP. She specializes in diabetic education and diabetic management and also anxiety and depression so you know maybe she might be a one-stop shop right but I, I you know I'm, I'm in the market for a new PCP anyway but I'm really kind of also looking at it as being able to get as many different sources of diabetic information as I can I don't want Dawn to think I don't trust her that I don't believe her what she's telling me because that's not the case at all I just figure the more people I have drilling it into my head, maybe that epiphany will come sooner. I've got Dawn, you know, all day or day with information that she can give me and all I have to do is ask I've got a friend I talked to yesterday about the dietary standpoint of it then this PA tomorrow who again I'm hoping becomes my primary care provider that Maybe she can put a little different twist on it than in 24 days, 24 days, I see the endocrinologist. Maybe they can give me a little different perspective. And just, you know, it, it's good to have all these different sources for information you can never have too much information and quite frankly yeah I can just google that shit as the phrase goes but the amount of information out there about diabetes is staggering just ridiculous the amount of articles when you type in Di diabetic nutrition, diabetic management, um, running with diabetes. Just, uh, it's overwhelming. I, it's hard to know where to start, what is reputable, what isn't. Because believe it or not, just because it's on the internet doesn't make it a good source. Huh, weird. Hmm. So, oh, Tracy at the sneaker shop, she also gave me uh, the name of a guy, which I'll have to ask her again because I'm horrible with names and I've forgotten it already, but a guy that used to live here in Springfield and is like a colossal runner. He does ultras and, and ridiculous stuff like that. 
but he has diabetes as well. And she suggested maybe I'd try to contact him and, you know, pick his brain and see what, what I can learn from him. You see the snake in the background? Yeah, that's another story for another time. Anyway, like I said, having, having different sources available is never a bad thing. People, just like I learn differently than pretty much everybody, people teach differently. There might be, and it's no shade on Dawn or on this PA or Emily or the endocrinologist or anybody else. It ju There are just ways you know people can tell you the exact same information a different way and suddenly it makes sense clearly there is a disconnect for me regarding diabetes and so i'm just looking at it as the more sources of information i have at my disposal can only benefit me in the long run as far as being able to figure out what in the hell I'm doing and then how, you know, learn how to run as a diabetic and not die to death in the process because I, I'm, I'm going to run, period. That's just how it is. I'm going to run. I had somebody ask me at work the other day. Now that you have all these health problems, are you going to give up running finally? Why, hell no, I'm not giving up running. What are you, stupid? I didn't say that. I wanted to, but, you know, got to keep the job. I don't need a visit to HR. But it just, why would I stop running just because I have diabetes and a failing pancreas? I'm able to keep, for now, I'm able to keep my feet. Why, why would I not, why would I not take advantage of the health that I have and run? I don't know, that just struck me as one of the stupidest things non-runners can ask runners. Even dumber than, well. <laughs> so I'm going to get these other sources of information about diabetes and try to piece it all together hopefully in a way that I can understand it. I'm a visual person. Dawn throws numbers at me sometimes, and that's overwhelming. I, I don't do numbers. I'm not a math guy. I'm not a numbers guy, which is really mind-boggling, considering that's the entire reason I like baseball is because of the numbers and the minutia of the statistics. But numbers and math just I can't do it. I'm a visual person. You draw a chart for me. I'm a lot like Don drew me a chart of how how proteins raise your glucose gradually and over a longer period sustain it over a longer period whereas carbs shoot your glucose up quickly and then back down quickly and then that's where you have your crash and that's what I have to figure out how to avoid that when I'm 
doing whatever physical exertion I'm doing to where I can last for the entire run, ride, race, whatever it is I'm doing. And it's going to be a process. It pisses me off, but it is going to be a process that is going to take me a while. But there again, with these different sources of information, hopefully I can put the puzzle together. Or, you know, maybe another source, maybe I'll... In the, sort, in the course of Abe's Army, for example, maybe I'll find somebody who is diabetic as well. And then I can ask them, what works for you? What doesn't work for you? What, you know, what do I need to avoid? What do I need to make sure I do? That kind of thing. The, the squeaking you're hearing is my dog chewing the hell out of something. Oh, here's a car. Anyway, I just wanted to check in, say hi. I haven't been on in a little while, so I just thought I'd say hello and tell you where things are. Um, tell you I have 24 days until my endocrinology appointment, 25 days until my next procedure in the loo. But other than that, I'm keeping, keeping on. Again, some days are better than others. There are days I feel pretty good. There are days... I feel like hell. There are days I'm somewhere in between that. It just depends. There are there are days that my the path of my glucose looks like the roller coaster of the century. And then there are days that it looks like a flat line. I I'm trying. So, I'll just keep at it. Hopefully, sooner rather than later, I'll get that epiphany that I keep talking about. But until then, I'll just keep at it and hope for the best. But right now, I'm going to wait for Dawn to get back from her bike ride. I actually was going to go with her today. But my sugar's kind of low. And I'm a little tired. I don't know that I could keep up. And it makes me angry. But... What are you going to do? So I'll wait for her to get home and get showered. And then we'll figure out something for dinner. And tomorrow morning I'll go see the PA and hopefully get some fresh perspective. And we'll see. But until then... I want all of you to have a good week. I hope to see you all soon. Please remember to like my video if you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't mind getting a notification when I put up new videos. If you want to tell people about it, bring them on. I can always use more viewers, but hope you have a good week. We'll talk to you soon. Johan out.